So check out this new rigid, it says Pro Gear System Gen 2 toolbox. I was in Home Depot yesterday and I saw this on the shelf. I haven't actually seen these in the stores before. I knew they were coming out with a Gen 2. I have, I think like three complete sets of their Gen 1 that I use all the time for everything you can see them back there in the background. And I stick them in my truck. I mean, they take a massive beating. The Gen 1s, I actually had a smaller toolbox, you know, this size back here that had fallen off a trailer that I forgot to take it off of. Luckily, it didn't hit the highway. It was just one of the back roads from our property. But I still was doing probably 50, 60 miles an hour. That thing came off, hit the ground. Luckily, I saw something behind me. Either way, I pulled over, went and looked at it. Other than, you know, some grind up marks on the edges and stuff. I mean, that thing just took that beating going down the asphalt didn't break didn't crack everything and it was good i mean ever since then i was like i'm putting all of my stuff in these now would be a great time to subscribe to the channel i'm sure the other brands probably have some really good systems too but the first time i bought these i had a purpose for them and i've just fallen in love with them and this gen 2 set is just that much better this one like i said i hadn't seen this one before so when i was in the store i started playing with it and I really liked it. Now they've gotten pricier with these boxes, just like pretty much everything in the world right now is getting more expensive. But I used to could get, you know, a whole setup of the Gen 1s for maybe 200 bucks not being on sale. Now you're probably going to be for, you know, three boxes or one setup, you're probably going to be closer to $300. So they are a little more expensive, but they have very much impressed me. So this box specifically has these two little pieces on the sides that pop open and then you have these drawers which are really sturdy I mean I don't have anything in here yet it's still brand new all my little insert pieces are still in their plastic but these little insert pieces can go in these drawers in two different directions to create like a bunch of really small compartments and I'll put these in in a minute to let you see that so these inserts will go in here and then you would end up with you know four times three twelve spots if you wanted to do it or you could just do three and then you have some longer sections here but they come with that and these drawers are like i said really sturdy and they're on ball bearing slides i mean these aren't cheap slides they're nice ball bearing slides where you can pop them in and out and if you look at this one here there's two small ones and a large one so if you look inside of these and you actually take these out there are four sections here where these can go. The point on that is, is let's say you had two of these boxes and one of the boxes, you actually wanted two of these big drawers in it. And the other box you wanted, you know, four of the small drawers in it. Well, you could pull these out and you could add a, one of these rails from the one box into the other box down here. And now you could have two large drawers and four small drawers in the different boxes. So they're configurable by pulling out these rails and putting the rails back in the boxes. So I thought that was pretty neat. They even have these little like pieces here. I gotta get a screwdriver to probably pop that out. They're held in there pretty well. But these are actually just labels where you can put labels on the drawers. The lid on this does not come open, but it does have these little pieces, these little clamps here that the Gen 1s had. So you can still get a Gen 1 box and lay it on top of here. It's got all the appropriate grooves and everything on this system to allow those to sit on top of these and lock in, you know, just like the Gen 1s already do. But now you can have all the extras of Gen 2. They've got these extra little slots here too on the top. Lean that forward. So they've got these pieces here because they have another set. I haven't seen that one in the stores yet, but you can get smaller you know, like little carry-alls or you can put all different kinds of stuff in them and they're smaller and they'll actually stack on the sides and lock in using this, right? You'll slide it in, you'll lock this in and then now you can carry those around and there's two different ones of them. So they've gotten a little, you know, smarter and made these a little bit more um, versatile, I guess you could say, adding all these different things in. But one of the other things that I really like that they did on Gen 2 is on Gen 1, when you buy that lower box and it's got the wheels at the end, you know, they're 
built into the box. It's part of the box. So I like that box because I put all my heavy stuff in there and then I drag it around, you know, with the wheels. But what would be really cool is if you could take that off or if you could turn around and make it into a small dolly, let's say. So they did that with the Gen 2s. They have this connection here in the back and it's not on all their boxes. It's just on their bigger boxes. They have a lower big box and then they have this box. I haven't seen it on any of the other ones, but they snap into here and then they snap onto this system and then you can take the wheels on and off. It's like a dolly type of device, but it doesn't have a platform on the bottom. So you can put this at the bottom and make this the rolling section and put a whole tool set in here. Hold all your different tools and everything in this, which would probably get pretty heavy. So you could put that at the bottom. And then of course, if you didn't need that, you could just pop it off and, and put it up. The other cool thing is with those same kind of things that connect the wheels, they sell just some individual plastic pieces that you can like screw in onto the wall and you can hang these on your wall. So let's say you have room in your garage and you just want to make a whole shelf of these drawers and everything on the side, you can actually just snap those onto the wall using those little connectors and have as many of these as you want and then when you want to take them off you just lift them off put them on your dolly or just throw them in the back of your truck like i have here and you're on your way so i was really impressed with this and i just didn't know if everyone has seen this yet they might not be in all the home depots right now but i definitely recommend taking a look at these if you don't have them in your home depots i did see that they have them online so you can check out Home Depot online and of course they do free shipping on these type of items. I will put a link down in the description of the video directly to this item on their website. So if you want to check it out, look at, you know, all the other Gen 2 things that they have coming out. I do think that I remember seeing the smaller compartments on homedepot.com, but I did not find it in store. When I went into my local Home Depot, the only pieces they had was this they had the rolling one, which I have in the truck. I'm going to show that one to you next. And then they had uh, the little carry-alls is what I call them because they carry a little bit of everything. Uh, but they had the one that is the full-size one, kind of like the Gen 1 had. But I didn't see any of the half-size ones there. And I don't really use those that often, so I didn't purchase that setup. But I did get this, and I did get the lower compartment piece that comes with the dolly wheels like i said i was very impressed with this i've been real impressed with the quality of my boxes i drop them i overload them probably shouldn't but i put way too much weight in some of those sometimes i leave them in the truck before i had my bed cover i used to lock them into my truck with cables so nobody would run off with them and steal them and they were waterproof i mean they just worked perfect so I'm definitely stuck on this system. I really like this system. And if you're using the Gen 1 system, I definitely think you should go check out this Gen 2. They got some really cool stuff coming out for this. So I almost forgot. I wanted to show you the inserts that come with it. So this is how I have this set up. I mean, you don't have to put these in. These little pieces can come out, you know, almost like a tackle box right that you would put your stuff in but these do go in and they have little grooves down here on the bottom so they do go in pretty nice and tight and they look like they'll hold pretty well if you had screws packed in there or whatever you want to put in there but this is the top drawer and it comes with these here you can put it of course in the second drawer too if you want and then like i showed you before the third drawer has these big dividers that also come in and out so you can take those in and out i really like a setup like this because i have a box that's dedicated just to like let's say drills or impacts and i actually label my boxes with those and what would be nice and i've always thought that it, i'm like you know it'd be really nice to have your drills or your impacts and everything down here and then be able to keep all your bits and and everything else you need with those in here now i do that with the smaller ones using those little cup trays but their medium sized boxes, if you can see this one here on the Gen 1s, really didn't have any of that in there. It was just a big open box. So this though could be the solution to that because you could have your drills and your impacts. Let's say I'm probably gonna put all mine together here, all of this in here together. And then I could come over here and have in this drawer, let's say, you know, all my different drill bits, paddle dr bits, you know, metal, whatever, all of that in here. And then up here I could have, you know, all of my different impact things and everything else. And I'd have basically have this one toolbox that 
is a whole setup of those tools. So what would be two of those smaller ones I could combine into one bigger one and then still have all the organization that I need in it versus having just cups of stuff, right? So anyways, that's what I liked about this one, but let me show you the other one.